Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren, but my friends call me Lo. Today, I am so excited about the video because we are going to be talking about last minute Christmas shopping. I don't know what it is about this year, but I have been so excited for Christmas. Like usually Thanksgiving is my family's holiday. Like that's the one that we all get together for and we take it really seriously. We have game night on Wednesday, then we all get together. Well, all, I say that loosely because I have a huge family. A lot of us get together on Thursday to eat and then all the girls go out on Black Friday. We have t-shirts. It's a big shebang. It's very exciting. But this year, I don't know what it is. Like, I'm just so ready for Christmas. I had all of my decorations up like the weekend after Thanksgiving and that's just like not how I was raised. Like, we always waited till at least like a week into December before we decorated. I'm just really excited this year. I had all of my shopping, almost all of my shopping done the day after Thanksgiving. I did just wrap up yesterday. I got all of my gifts wrapped. They're laying right here. Um, so I'm just really excited and I'm excited to help you guys because I know that there are some of you out there that still have shopping to do even though we are within single digits until Christmas. But have no fear, I have some really good quick cheap ideas i believe all of these except maybe one or two are under 10 to 20 dollars so i hope this um, is helpful to you guys i hope you enjoy this kind of video and let's just hop right in okay the first idea i'm going to share with you guys is a very safe choice there's options everywhere it is a candle so there are many options when it comes to candles bath and body works has really good ones they're originally $24, but they are literally always on sale. I don't think anyone ever buys them for full price. I know I got mine for $12. Some other really good options are TJ Maxx and Home Goods. They have all kinds of different brands of candles. I just got one that was $2.99. I almost bought a full size Yankee candle. I think that was $12, which is almost half the price, if not over half off of the original price. They have some really cool stuff, a lot of like organic soy candles. Yeah, TJ Maxx and Home Goods is great. Another option, of course, is Target. They always have candles on clearance and they're always under $20 anyway. I know that scents are a personal thing, so when picking out a scent, don't pick anything that is too over the top you want to stick with something a little bit that has a nice balance like this one is cinnamon spiced vanilla but it smells very cedary as well so it's not overly sweet it has like a nice balance of sweet and kind of like that musky smell or like more of a woodsy smell since to steer clear from uh if you, especially if you're buying for a stranger and you don't really know what someone likes is anything too floral or too sweet because that can give a lot of people like headaches or stomach aches so you don't want to lean towards anything too strong my advice would be sticking to more, something a little more warm a little more neutral, something that has more of a sandalwood or an amber scent, something that um, isn't going to be too overpowering, but it's still going to give off a nice vibe and smell. So that's what I would go for. Unless you know someone's personality and you know their preference, I would stick to something more neutral. Another great option would be uh, if you don't know what scent to get someone, but you kind of want to go in that same kind of theme, uh, Walmart has all kinds of candle warmers for 10 to $15. I know there's a lot of cute better homes and gardens ones. There's like little elephants or butterflies or just like stone ones or simple. There's mirror decorative ones uh, and they're all really affordable. So you can always do that. That way it's still the same kind of gesture but they can kind of pick their own scents as they go. So that would also be a really safe option. My next easy suggestion is a coffee cup. If you have ever received a gift from me, there is a 90% chance that you have received a coffee cup in your lifetime. This is probably my favorite gift to give people because uh, it's probably one of my favorite gifts to receive or really just favorite things to buy myself in general. I always get coffee cups when I go on trips or just if I'm out and about and I see a cute one on sale. Like I just, I just like to, I just really enjoy collecting coffee cups. I also really love coffee, if you know me at all you know that coffee and wine and tequila are like my favorite drinks of choice. So um, yeah, coffee cups are a great option. Some of my favorite places to find coffee cups are 
Target. There's always really cute ones out. They have monogram ones um, if you want to make it personalized. They have, I know they have like a zodiac sign right now, which is a really cool personalized kind of gift. Another really good place to get them is TJ Maxx and Home Goods. Once again, um, TJ Maxx always has a ton of coffee cups for under $5. The majority of the coffee cups that I buy are from TJ Maxx. I, I don't, I don't want to play right now. Be careful. Anyway, some of my favorite coffee mugs come. Stop. Hey, go over there. Okay, some of my favorite coffee mugs come from TJ Maxx. They are literally all under $5, the ones that I've ever bought. They have cute teacup type ones. They have some that talk about dogs, some that talk about cats, some with song lyrics, things that are inspirational, funny ones artsy ones. There's just a lot of options at TJ Maxx, so I 100% suggest going there to get one. Of course, there's mugs at Walmart and JCPenney. There's coffee mugs everywhere, but if you are in a rush and on a budget, Target and TJ Maxx are great options for coffee cups. My next suggestion is a throw blanket. Um, these are everywhere during the holidays. I mean, I know if you have not seen any throw blankets in a department store, Walmart, or Target, or Kohl's, or JC, I don't know if I said JCPenney already, but literally you get my, you get my point. They are everywhere. And my dog, Nashville, loves blankets too, don't you? Mm. Nashville, get out of my face. My point is, is they are everywhere and most of the time they are affordable under $20. There of course are some really nice furry ones that are more expensive if you have a nicer budget. I got a heated blanket from Walmart uh, about a year ago and I know they still have them because I just saw them the other day, but that was $30. It's lasted me over a year. It works like a charm, especially if you live in a cold place, which most of you are probably from Kentucky and it's freezing right now. So so a heated blanket is always a great choice. It has like three uh, temperature options on. I'm just watching TV. I'll put it on high and cozy up and take my coffee cup. Just have a grand old time. Uh, who doesn't love a throw blanket? Most of mine were gifts and I have a basket full. And they're super useful if you have guests or like I said, if you're just chilling on the couch, who doesn't want a nice fuzzy blanket to cuddle under? So. My next suggestion is an adult favorite, which is liquor or alcohol or something within that family. There's a lot of different ways you can go with this. You can do like a bundle of things. I know that I bought this year for someone this really cool cocktail shaker that has the recipes on it. So it tells you how much you need of each ingredient to make that drink. And you can just get some monogrammed glasses or some kind of cool glasses to go with it. I have also in the past done like beer mugs like this and gotten it engraved with a personal message or name. I know there's probably not a whole lot of time to do that in my hometown. I have like uh, this little flower shop that does engraving. So if you have a place like that, I'm sure they can do that in a couple days. Dollar Tree has these mugs along with, uh, I think they have some that are even bigger with a smoother thing, which would be better for engraving. They also have glass wine glasses in all different colors. They have champagne flutes. They have cognac glasses. They have pint glasses for beer. The Dollar Tree has every type of glassware that you could need for this kind of instance. So definitely check out that. You can also just get a nice bottle of liquor like Woodford Reserve Bourbon or Patron Tequila. That's kind of getting in the higher range, but it's a very quick gift. You don't have to put a lot of thought into it, but people are going to appreciate it. I would not suggest doing this for a stranger because not everyone drinks alcohol. You don't want to offend anyone or uh, kind of trigger anyone. So definitely save that for people that you know and that are close to you so you know if they drink and what they drink and what they enjoy. And my last suggestion kind of groups all of these together. And you can do this even if you don't have a very big budget, is making your own bundles. Now, you could of course go to Walmart and get one of those gift sets with like the lotions and the bath stuff and the body scrub, but I wouldn't suggest that. I feel like that's kind of a cop out and you can do the same type of thing in a more thoughtful and to me a more affordable way if not the same price. So my suggestion is going to Walmart or Target or whatever store you prefer to shop at, 
get a two dollar face mask i know for a fact that target has them for two to five dollars walmart has a whole rack of like those sheet masks and even some regular masks they're all two dollars get a couple sheet masks get a cheap candle from tj maxx like the one i bought for three dollars get a couple things of nail polish or a thing of lotion from bath and body works put it in a little basket. The Dollar Tree has little bins and little baskets, so you can go there, get one of those for a dollar, wrap it up, and it looks like you put a lot of thought into it and it's not breaking the bank. And it's a little bit more original and thoughtful than just going to Walmart and buying a gift set for $15. I don't know what's going on with my hair right now, but like I just keep looking at my viewfinder and I'm like, some other things you can do if you don't want to do beauty, if you have a man in your life that you don't know what to buy for, I, I swear boys are the hardest people to buy for. They say they're not picky, but they definitely are. I know I bought my boyfriend a couple things last year when I was studying abroad in Italy and I don't think I've ever seen him wear anything that I bought him, but it's okay. You can kind of go back to the liquor idea. Uh, look up an ingredient to a cool cocktail, get like some Moscow Mule glasses and all the ingredients to that and you can kind of make it a, a bundle in itself with some like snack food. Um, another really good idea that I know my family has done in the past is like a movie night in pack. So you get like a box of popcorn, some cute like popcorn just like holder things, little red and white ones, you know what I'm talking about, uh, and buy some cheap DVDs. This time of year, cheap DVDs are everywhere. So go out, buy two DVDs, get some popcorn, maybe even throw some two, like two sodas in there, put it in a basket, and it's a great gift idea as well. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope that if you were panicking on what you were gonna get someone at the last minute, I hope this helps out a little bit. I know this might feel like it was geared a little bit towards women, but honestly, each of these gift ideas can definitely work for men. I don't see why it couldn't, but man doesn't like his house to smell good, what man doesn't like to use a blanket when he's watching TV, what man doesn't like liquor, and guys drink coffee too. Yeah, they're not gonna want like a cutesy one. What man doesn't enjoy a nice cup of coffee or tea or hot chocolate? So regardless, I hope you guys found this helpful. I wish you luck in your last minute Christmas shopping and I will see you in my next video. I seriously love my dog to death, but do you all, do you ever have those days where you're just like, want to say hi? Come here. Come here. First of all, in case you couldn't tell, I have a big dog. He's a pit lab mix. His name is Nashville. He's the sweetest little boy in the whole world. Look. Say hi. Look. Look over there. But he's only like nine months old, and I don't think he realizes that he's not two pounds anymore. No, 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 no. Sit. Sit. Just always in your face. You stink. Your breath stinks. Always jumping on your lap. Have. Ow! Stop! I mean, I love him to death, but I feel like he's like a kid in some ways where you're just like, oh, I love you, but. Look over there! Look over there and say hi! I need you to get out of my face. Okay, go. Go. I love you. <laughs>